What's up, you guys? So I'm about to meal prep. Um, I just got my rotisserie chicken. It's, it's cold, and I just chopped up the breast and whatnot. And um, I don't know what I'm going to make quite yet because I'm thinking about just doing some loaded broccoli. And what I mean by that is just like some broccoli with some bacon and some cheese and meat. You know, it's like a loaded baked potato, but it's just broccoli. Or I'm thinking about doing a broccoli and spinach uh, thing. Or I have my cabbage here. I mean, I have my broccoli there. It's like so many things I want to do right now. I have my cauliflower. So, I mean, I saw this cauliflower recipe on Facebook with the chicken and the cheddar cheese. Like the shredded cheddar cheese, I have that with the cream cheese. I have that already. I have the bacon and the cauliflower. You mix it all together and then you like bake it. It's like one big dish. So I don't know. I'm just mixed. I know I'm not going to use all of it for one dish. So I'm going to make different small dishes and stuff. So whatever I make, I might just show you. I don't know if, I, if this video is even going to be posted. But I just thought I'll just, you know, try to show you guys something or what I'm doing with the meal prep and, you know things like that so I'll keep you posted on whatever I make if you want to follow my recipes and foods I eat you can go to my Instagram page at Avis C underscore VSG where I post the majority of everything I eat and um, things like that or I'm cooking most majority times that get posted on Instagram more than YouTube to be honest so you can watch me there and see me there and comment ask questions whatever you need to do so I'll be back also, later I might just make me something very simple like some ch the chicken you, you just saw me just had. I probably just eat that. Probably put a little season on it, or put like a little barbecue, like like a pulled chicken thing, like at Sunday's barbecue, with some mashed potatoes here. But they are the Idaho Spud veggie potatoes. They're uh, made with mashed potatoes and cauliflower and herbs. You know, so it's not just potatoes. So it's, it's you know try to do better if you want potatoes, or you can just go straight cauliflower, boil your cauliflower, smash it, and make it just like potatoes mashed potatoes also i have my big giant pack here of my bacon it comes with 72 slices i probably use maybe 10 already for me and my daughter um uh, so loves bacon a lot so she eats the bacon with me um and i also have my snow crabs here so i'm probably gonna have this for lunch or dinner with some shrimp and some red potatoes or something like that also i found this cute little crock pot because you know i'm bsg and I eat small portions, so instead of me using my big old, I haven't used it yet, but since I can start to collect dust or something, I don't know. But it's really super tiny, a um, little slow cooker thingy, crock pot, and it's really small. So I think I can make like my put my make my own personal soups in there, uh, my little casseroles or whatever, and just let it go. Or I can just take my lid off, make my little dish, put it in the oven, let it bake, and bam. You know, all that. So, I'm going to show you a few little things I do already have. I just don't know what exactly I'm going to make. I got my air fryer going right now with my chicken. Uh, you know, the La Bona, the chicken. Uh, the, the rotisserie chicken, the, the back part of it. I like that part because it has a lot of skin on it and also meat. So, I like to dry it out. Like, cook it really good so the skin gets nice and crunchy. The meat kind of hard. And I eat it like that. Kind of like it's jerky. I don't know. Kind of weird like that. I like it like that. And, um... <laughs> that's about it um whatever i come back with i'll let you guys know though this is what i meant by um i like to dry the little bone part out because i'm sure you guys probably didn't understand but i probably want to put it back in a little more because that's a little soft but i want it to be like this listen to it it's like crunchy i want it to be like that so i'm gonna put it back in my air fryer for about five to ten minutes, dry it out, make it real crunchy. And I separated my chicken. This is the amount I'm going to use for lunch. Don't know what else. I'm probably gonna chop some bacon up. But hold on, let me show you something. Okay, this is some of my stuff I already have. Now, it's my cauliflower rice. That's the chicken I chopped up. That's some cheddar cheese I already have. I have some more in the fridge already. I have mozzarella too. Oh, mozzarella right here. I keep cheese on hand. Mozzarella and cheddar. I keep that on hand. You already seen the broccoli, I mean the uh, crab. I have a little bit of shrimp left in there. Some more shrimp in the freezer too though. Um, bacon, I'm going to get like, like probably like three or four slices and chop that up to add to that chicken you just saw over there. Um, that's the spinach you saw. This is the cream cheese. I'm probably going to use probably like um, 
maybe a third of that. And to make this dish I saw on Facebook, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it because it looked really, really good. And I think I'm going to make, mix it all to the crock pot and then let it be like a one dish meal. I'm not going to use the whole entire thing either. So I'm letting that defrost a little bit so I can break it up to put it in there, mix it all up. I want the cream cheese to be room temperature before I uh, mix it. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. Got all my little stuff together, trying to, you know... Get right, meal prep for the day. And yeah, so I'll be back. Whatever meal I decide to make, I might eat it on camera with you guys. And uh, Just trying to get this stuff together. This has been a busy, busy week between... Uh, and I haven't been eating, you guys. Let me tell you, I didn't drink nothing yesterday until late last night, around like 10, 11 o'clock. I said, uh, when I went to bed, I said, babe, oh my God. I realized I haven't drunk nothing all day. I, did, I, I barely ate. I didn't even realize it. And... I barely drink anything. I've been so busy, and I'm not. I'm not complaining, Lord, not by a long shot. But I've been very busy with these sponsor videos. Um, like I don't know if I should probably even say or not, but whatever. I'm not gonna say. Forget it. But anyway, with these videos, you're gonna see it like that. With these videos and uh, trying to get them out and pre-record and have everything already ready, so when it's time for them to drop, they will drop. So that's what I've been doing. So that's why you guys have been seeing like all the, the pictures of the clothing and stuff on Instagram. I don't post everything. I post probably like a cute little outfit that I like the most on there. And plus, like I do my own personal videos that I haven't even recorded yet. So, oh, that's another video in itself. So, forget it. Okay, I have chopped the bacon up. I decided what I'm going to cook because I'm hungry. I'm ready to sit down and eat. So, I'm just going to do that the loaded broccoli, like I said. Um... With some chicken and bacon and some mozzarella cheese. And um, how I'm cooking the broccoli is I um, got my pot, my pot with water in it. And I put me some be uh, chicken bouillon in there so it can flavor the water. That's my air fryer going off. And I'm going to put my broccoli in there let it um, boil a little bit. So once it gets it's kind of soft how I like it, then I'm going to take it out and strain it. Add the chicken and the... Uh, Bacon, add some mozzarella cheese, add some seasoning, and call it a day. Okay, you guys, so this is the final pro product, the project, the meal, the whatever. The chicken and bacon loaded broccoli dish, I guess I will call it, because it's chicken, bacon, broccoli, cheese. Uh, two cheeses, mozzarella and cheddar and seasonings. And that's the chicken backbone I was telling you guys about. I like to bite and chew on just to get that skin and a little bit of meat that's on there. Now, of course, I cannot eat the one sitting. This is probably like will be two meals and a snack for me today. Um, but I just put it all on one plate so I don't have to, you know, mess up any more dishes. Because I don't feel like messing up any dishes. I don't feel like washing any. So, with that being said, the only thing I have to do with that finish eating a little bit I do have eaten. I'll wrap it up um, with a moon of fall. When I'm ready to eat it again, I'll eat it again. Okay? Now I'm going to try it on camera for you guys to know what it tastes like with me. For you guys, trying to maybe focus more on my face. Maybe if I come over here, it'll focus more. Okay, this is the dish. I should have did it in some better lighting. So it'll be nicer. I don't know. This is crazy. Maybe I should sit in this chair over here. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, you guys can see it. You can see the food. Well, you just saw the food. I did a close-up on it. So, I want to try my chicken bone. I like that a lot. And it's so tender, see? I love the crunchiness of it. Try this broccoli. Now, one thing I want to say. Use fresh broccoli. I use what I had on hand at the time. That frozen broccoli kind of got on my nerves. I don't like my broccoli kind of mush. Or withered kind of way. So, get some frozen broccoli. I'm not frozen broccoli. Some fresh broccoli. Okay. And plus that bag didn't have that many florets in it. And I was ticked off by that because I want more florets than the stem. That's the 
cheese. Let me try to get some chicken on there. And some broccoli. I might put some of my melted cheese on here as well. I like that. Nice and simple. Everything tastes good together, guys. Well, I can tell you what I do want in here. Mmm. I got to get a piece of that. Broccoli. It's a hard piece there, broccoli. Okay. And sour cream. Oh, my God. Some sour cream would make this. I got some. I'm going to get up and get some, so I get off camera. I'm going to be lazy. I should have got a fork. God darn it. I'd be ready to eat, y'all. I'm telling you. A nice simple dish. Easy. <laughs> no carb. You just got bacon, protein, chicken, protein, cheese, protein, no carb. Check the back of the label. And broccoli, vegetables. Then just add your seasoning. I'm glad I used that chicken bouillon to season that broccoli. That really made that. And the season I did use, which is like chili powder, salt, accent, garlic. And that was it. I'm already starting to feel my push. It could be my push on me. Eating too fast, or maybe my push on me getting full. Either way, I'll let 10 to 15 minutes before I eat again. Eat something, see if I eat more. But I gotta get my calories up. I barely been eating and drinking. Got my bottle of water there. I gotta go ahead and thug that down before 3 o'clock because it's like 1 30 now. So I wanna try to drink that the whole bottle. It doesn't seem like, like a 16 ounce, I think. 16 to 18 ounce bottle of water. I'm going to try to get it down before 3 o'clock. Now, for a normal person, I'm sure you can drink that way faster than that. Probably within a minute or two. But with us, you can't. So, it takes a while for, to drink a bottle of water. At least for me, still. And then I'm going to have a protein shake chocolate time because they're making other kinds now besides chocolate and vanilla. So, I have my protein shake over there on standby, which I need to go put that in the refrigerator. So, um... That could be cold, so I can have that to drink. 30 grams of protein right there. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all like my little cute little nose ring. It's fake, though. Of course, it's fake, you know. You guys remember I used to have, like, the one right there. And I used to have another one that was right there, too. And then, like, the little fake lip piercing. This was years ago. I also did one um, last year, too. But it was a diamond one that had a magnet to, to it. And so I got this one because y'all know my bae, Keon, which I'll be seeing on here. Uh, she'll probably be on here sometime this week or next week. We had to, we had to, anyway, some of the shit had came out. But anyway, she convinced me to go ahead and get my nose pierced because she not been one one done, but I just keep checking it out, you know, and I think I'm just going to get it done and do the, rec like, record it. So I'm trying to get a feel for, like, you know, how oh, I look with different piercings. Of course, it's going to be a stud at first, but, you know, I always like to do hoops, too. So, yeah. I had my tongue pierced before, but it didn't last no more than two days because I took it out because I was ready to eat. Greedy all my life, right? Right. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's that. And um, this is my makeup look of the day, you guys. So, just like a quick little mini vlog. <sighs> I 
And you guys, I think I'm going to meet my goal. Remember, I told you I wanted to be 180 by the end of this month because the beginning of the month, well, um, the first this month, I was 198. And I said I want to be 180 by the end of the month. 185 now. Of course, I could have been met my goal, but you guys, I'm, you guys know I'm very honest. I got off the bandwagon. I freaking been drinking those power aids again. They are my weakness. Oh my god, I've been drinking my power aids again. And then this past two weekends, hubby and I had just been on this little, I don't know what you want to call it, but I've been enjoying it. And then we have our movie nights after the different stuff that goes on. Um, and then at a, when, when we have movie night, we have a bunch of junk food too. So, like, I should probably get healthy snacks, but I don't know what the hell the healthy snack is. And I don't feel like getting that. So, I be me and him be eating our ice cream. We be eating our cookies and our, well, I be having cookies. He have his ice cream and his, and his M&M's. I have my ice cream and my cookies and my favorite sea salt and vinegar chips. Kettle cooked, though. And I've been snacking my ass off and I end up getting some weight back. I said, nope. Anyway, that weight I gained, it could have been weight I lost. So, it's no one's fault but my own. So, anyway, that's that. And just make a new goal if you don't meet it. Just keep trying, you guys. You know, it's all about admitting, you know, your failures. I don't know when my camera cut off, but it cut off. I think it's my, I got stuff on my phone. But, you do a uh, chicken from Sound Club and eat, chew some protein. Chicken, number protein. That's how I did it. And before, I had weight loss surgery, like way before. Um, Like I said, we're just going to do weight loss surgery. They tell you just eat nothing but protein, protein, protein. And then they tell you, after when you get when you lose, we have, uh, after you have weight loss surgery, eat nothing but protein, protein, protein. I'm like, it's the same damn thing. The same exact meal plan they had me on at the weight loss clinic is the same thing you do you eat after surgery. I mean, so it just goes for everybody. It's just it's just protein and veggies. I'm like, okay. And I did lose a lot of weight with them. Well, it was 30 pounds for them. And then I went back, you know, doing the other things, slacking. And I gained weight back. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, it's the same eating eating plan. Eat your protein. Protein, protein. Eat meat, 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 meat. Veggies, you know. And the way to come off. And I, I, it's been proven. I, like, I lost weight a lot of times before surgery. And, um, by eating the protein. And, and you could do it without having surgery. But it wasn't there with me. You know what I mean? I don't know. But do I regret it? No. You know, because it keeps me on track. I don't know. So, anyway, to each his own. Do what makes you happy. You know, fuck what they say or say, your family and everybody. If you want to do it, do it. That's what I say. That's your life. Fuck everybody else in their opinion. A bitch gonna always have an opinion. So, just like everybody got an asshole. And Mojo are, are, are assholes. Fuck what they got to say. Do you live your life and be fucking happy about it? Because that's your life. Stop living your life for people. Live your life for you. So, anyway, this is a quick little video. I don't know if I'm going to continue meal prep on camera or not. I doubt it because I don't really feel like it. Because I got to record more stuff. So I'm going to get up after a while, probably next hour and a half. And get back to recording. So like the majority of stuff y'all gonna be seeing will be pre-recorded. But this is gonna be current. I'm gonna upload today, which today is what Wednesday. So y'all will get this today or tonight, whatever. Love you guys.